Hello, welcome to Keith's Fire Tutorials. I'm Keith Ellis. Today I'll be speaking about this little robot here. It's, um, a, it's a tiny four wheel drive and the um, Rock Candy controller. So I've put this together myself, but not without a lot of help from um, the fabulous Raspberry Pi community. Um, in particular, Brian Cortell, who um, has provided the files um, to allow me to get the chassis laser cut. I know he's, he's actually selling that at um, Pimaroni now for about um, £55, it includes the chassis, um, the motors, um, one of the Pimaroni um, fats to um, control the motor. Um, and um, to get the controller working, the Rock Candy controller, um, Tom Oyen, is um, has got a nice little library um, at aproxeng.input on GitHub and um, that allows um, me to get the inputs off the controller into the Pi and um, get the robot working um, with surprisingly little code. So this is um, my tiny four wheel drive robot, my Rock Candy controller. So what have we got here? So we've got the chassis, which I um, laser cut at the Ipswich Makerspace. Um, the files are courtesy of um, Brian Cortell. Um, we've got a Raspberry Pi Zero. So this isn't a W, this is just a standard zero. It's set to boot up into my um, code automatically and I've got a button mapped to shut down so I don't need to connect to the Raspberry Pi at all. We've got Fortronics. Uh, PyCon Zero motor controller and it well handily has got two sets of inputs for each motor so I've got the front motors going in to um, the terminal box here and I've got the back motors wired up to the male headers here so it's rather handy I, I could wire up all four motors without any connectors uh, it's powered from a 2000 milliamp LiPo battery in there. On top of there we've got a Adafruit um, Boost 500 charger. So that boosts up the 3.7 volts up to 5 volts. That comes out here, goes into the Pi. And I've um, come off the battery directly so the, the motors are powered by 3.7 volts. I've also got an on off switch which um, is connected to the Boost 500 and um, allows me to turn the power on and off. So let's turn it on. Um, you might be able to see the light here, the Raspberry Pi flashing, possibly. Yeah, I think that's just showing up. So we'll let that boot. Um, there's a, the Rock Candy dongle is, is down underneath there as well. You can see that flashing red. So to pair the remote, it's not Bluetooth, it's just a 4.2 gig um, wireless connection. Um, so we press home button. They're quite very, well, not quite dim, they're very dim. There's four LEDs up on the top of the rock candy. They flashed and I've got one solid LED to tell me it's um, paired and ready to go. So um, I've got this in tank mode. So if I push them both up, it will start moving forwards. Pull them both down, it will start moving backwards. It's proportional control. And um, it's quite a nice little robot actually. I've had lots of fun with this. My son helped me um, pull it together. He's done his first soldering and he soldered the motor shims onto the um, 50 to 1 Pimaroni motors. Um, so. There it is. And to shut down, I press select for, let's see, let's get the pie there. See the light in the pie, the green light. If we hold down, select for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now the pie activity lights flashing, it's shutting down. Pie's off. We can power the boost off. Done. So let's take a closer look. 
We've got um, the chassis, which is just two plates, top plate and a bottom plate. The bottom plate is um, got the mounts for the Pimorini 50 to 1 motors, although they do do other motors. If you want it to go a bit faster, you can go for the 20 to 1s or a bit slower. Um, there's, there's other options all the way up to 1000 and something to 1, which would be um, pretty slow in my opinion. Um, these motors have got the um, motor shims on, so there's a tiny little PCB that solders onto the motor terminals, which is a whole lot easier than trying to solder wires onto them tiny term terminals. That gives you a right angle header, which pokes through the bottom plate, and I've just used some um, female um, jumper wires there to connect onto the, to the motors. In. I've used some um, 50mm standoffs here, there's a lot of room under there so they could be smaller and um, I think I might be moving the battery and the power boost 500 underneath there at some point. There's um, some room in the middle here and there's some holes in the bottom which could either be used for cable tying or some other method of fixing. I might make a 3d mount for the battery and a power boost i think that'll make it quite smart this um ca cable here this is five volt out of the power boost into the pi that's a bit bulky so um the usb socket here can actually it come unsoldered actually i soldered it onto the power boost i think i might take that off cut this cable and just um direct wire direct solder into the power boost so that'll Make that a lot um, tidier, get rid of this bulky USB plug. Under here we've got the rock candy dongle. Um, I really like these rock candies. Um, it's so much easier with Bluetooth. It's, it's basically a direct wired connection over a, a fixed 2.4 gigahertz um, wired interface. So the, the Pi thinks it's a wired device, so there's no pairing. The pairing is handled directly between the dongle and, and the joypad. So you don't have to worry about that in your code. Um, I've seen some other rock candy devices with much bigger dongles. So I'll put the link down in the video for where I got this one from. Um, but it's, yeah, it's a nice small dongle there. I've got the, um, obviously the Pi Zero under there. I think that's a, an original one. There's no camera. There's no camera connector on there and there's no wireless. So that's an original Pi Zero. On the top there's the Fortronics um, PyCon Zero motor controller which is really nice actually. It's got lots of um, outputs inputs. Um, it's got uh, I think it's a Atmega 3 to 8 on the chip on the bottom of this board which handles all the communication so it communicates with the Pi over I squared C. Um, as a result it's got analog um, inputs and it can control um, RGB LED strings as well um, such as the near pixels. There's a few options with power on here you can power the board from the Pi or from um, this there's a USB connector in there obviously 5 volt USB so I've got the board powered from the Pi and the motors can also be powered from this 5 volt connection whether um, or the board's 5 volt and that Depending where this jumper is, it's either fed from the Pi or fed from this 5 volt USB here. Um, but I've opted to power the motors separately, so these wires are directly wired onto the power boost, which has got a direct connection to the battery effectively. So these these um, motors are running at 3.7 volts, um, which when you see it running, I didn't. Um, when you see it running, it's um, rather quite nippy, so it'll. Be nice to have it run into 5 volts but I don't think it's necessary it does run very nicely at um, 3.7 so I think I'll leave that there for the moment I'll do a follow-up video with all the details on the code um, and how I got it self-booting and got the rock candy to power down the fire etc so I'll do that in a separate video um, so hope you like this introduction to the tiny four-wheel drive I'll see you soon Thank you.